He is a, um, a master craftsman which we're going to talk about today and he doesn't make error. And so I would say that he's a precision um, lover. He's a precision lover of our souls. I was thinking about, I, was, I had to drive home to get my PowerPoint. Yay, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for that um, because I left it and I thought, you know, I just put so much work into doing a PowerPoint. And then you get here and you've forgotten it. You want to get home and get it again. <laughs> um, you know Rosie, we were talking about that yesterday. But um, as I was driving back, I felt the Lord keep saying, look in the mirror, look in the mirror. And I'm like, Lord, I'm driving. You know, <laughs> probably not a good time to look in the mirror. But he was reminding me of a really fun, fun time when Matt and I were first married. Uh, you know what? You know when banter happens between husbands and wives? You know, for those that are married, we've kind of been cheeky with each other one night and... You know, being a bit silly, he says to me, because I'm being naughty, cheeky, anyone else like that? You know, a little bit, a little bit pushing the boundaries, you know, and he says, you, you need to go and take a good hard look at yourself in the mirror. And so I leap up off of the bed and I stand in front of the mirror and I go, <laughs> and we just both burst out laughing, you know, that kind of, it's one of those, it's a, it's a husband and wife moment, you remember it honey? Yes I do, yeah. And yeah. so now sometimes when we say, let's just take a good hard look at yourself, <laughs> I think that's what God is actually saying to the body of Christ. He's saying, let's have a really good look at ourselves. Um, let Jesus is actually the reflection in the mirror, but it's like he's saying, right now, I've got so much to bring through you and out of you, but we need to take a good hard look at ourselves in the mirror. And today I'm talking about jars of clay, uh, and I'm talking about the potter and the clay. And that metaphor comes from the book of Jeremiah. Uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with it, but today we're going to really open it up. Is that okay? We're going to really look at what clay is and who the potter is. So why does the potter put us on the wheel? Why does he bear down on us at times? Why does he keep working us, molding us, shaping us? What is he after? What is the potter after? And if we go back to the book of Jeremiah, into that potter's house, I'll go to the scriptures soon, but not yet. We won't discover the purpose of our life through that story, but you'll learn something even more important than that. You'll understand that the potter has a purpose. You watch him, and I want to say this, church, right now, always, God is serious. The potter is he's about his work. He's not mucking around. This isn't a game. And I wanted to actually call this message end game. We can't keep going on the way we go. We've got to get to the end game and ask the Lord what he is going to do with us, his vessels. Yeah? It com that comes from a movie that I won't talk about. <laughs> but what I'm saying is as believers, we can't, we can't muck around anymore. <laughs> Is that a good way of putting it? I, I could be a little bit more harsh. But he, God doesn't play with the clay. He, he, this is his work and he's given his time, his talents, his energy to the clay. If we look over the shoulder of that potter Jeremiah is referring to, you might you know, not, not know what that finished piece is going to look like. But the potter knows what he's doing with that piece of clay. And church, God is not playing with us today. God is not playing games. He's not experimenting. God has a purpose. God has a plan. God has outcomes that he needs brought to the surface for this city, for us individually, but for the city, for the nation and the nations. Yeah? And I was talking with Rosie yesterday and I, I just wanted to share this because I, I said to Rosie, I had a dream you know, to have a bakery one day or, you know, make, I love to create. I love to make things. And all of us were created to be creative in some way. We all have gifts and talents. And I think that when we use those gifts and talents, it brings something of the kingdom. 
Yeah, we all know that. You know, we think we know that, but we actually don't go ahead and do. It. As an onlooker, we can guess what God's purpose is in us, but we really don't know. But someday soon, my prayer is that you will know what the Potter has for you. And I just want to share a little bit of my personal.